Now back to a night of growing protests across the United States here in Minneapolis, where the incident that sparked this rage happened. The Minnesota National Guard was in place overnight to meet protesters. ABC's Alex Perez is also here in Minneapolis with me. Alex, good morning to you. Hey, Eva, I want you to take a look at the scope of the damage here. It is not an exaggeration to say some parts of Minneapolis right now look like a war zone. Now, unlike nights before, last night, authorities showed up with a full force, a massive force of manpower. They confronted protesters and arrested them. Overnight, clashes erupting on the streets of Minneapolis. Police are firing tear gas and rubber bullets at protesters violating the city's curfew. Protesters met with the full force of the state's National Guard. For the first time in 164 years, Minnesota's governor mobilizing record force. The state capitol surrounded by heavily fortified armed Minnesota National Guardsmen alongside state patrols. Local law enforcement announcing they've been intercepting communications from extremist groups they believe are organizing protests using peaceful demonstrations as cover to cause deliberate mayhem. You have somebody who will go forward and, and, and break a window or try to start a fire or something, then go run back behind the people who are trying to peacefully protest and use them essentially as human shields. The Minneapolis mayor calling it domestic terrorism. There are so many outside influences that are using peaceful community protesters as prey. Officials asking everyone to stay home so they can better separate the peaceful protesters from the agitators, as this heartbroken community is desperately trying to pick up the pieces. These people are tearing up our livelihood. This is the only place I could go to shop. And now I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to get there. And authorities here say that massive show of manpower is still in place. And at this point, they do not believe they will need federal troops to step in. And Eva, I have to say, you know, we focus a lot on the severe damage because it is significant. But the other thing that is significant that it's sometimes hard to transmit is the sense of pain and anguish in the air. It is palpable. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Eva. Alex, such a good point that you make this morning. People are hurting. And guys, you see all these protests in city after city all across this country. One thing is clear, and it's exactly what Alex is talking about. People want something to change. Something has to change. Dan and Witt. It's so hard to see these images, too, of all this destruction behind you, Eva. But as Alex put it so perfectly, people are sick and tired, Dan, of being sick and tired. Yeah, I think there's an undercurrent of so much pain in history coursing underneath all the events we're seeing right now, and it's really just bubbling through. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.